I think foreign policy, which didn't play a big part in the election campaign and really does in Australian politics, I think there will be likely more continuity than some might expect. Uh, I think it is true that uh, Tony Abbott um, he's already spoken about Indonesia being Australia's single most important relationship. I think early on that will be where the big challenge is. His cardinal election promise, promise of stopping the boats may well run up uneasily against the realities of keeping the Indonesia relationship stable uh, and he will be travelling there very shortly. It will be very interesting to see the way in which the Indonesians respond to the policies that, how, uh, that Tony Abbott has enunciated on this question of asylum seekers. They've already poured cold water over his idea of turning back the boats and indeed of buying leaky vessels uh, in Indonesia. They see this as a derogation of their sovereignty. That's probably the first and most immediate challenge where we may see some difference with an Abbott foreign policy, but by and large Australian politics has two sort of cardinal faiths in terms of foreign policy. It's a bipartisan commitment to the US alliance and the imperative of engagement with Asia. There's likely to be difference of emphasis on some of these uh, questions, particularly insofar as the Asian white paper of the previous government was concerned, but by and large we'll see more continuity, I suspect, in the early uh, days of the uh, Abbott government, which will be largely domestic focused. Well, there's a lot of strategic uh, chatter in Australia, and has been for the last number of years, about Australia having to face up to uh, a very uncomfortable choice that it will have to choose between its ally in Washington and its friend in Beijing. This was the rhetoric that was employed by the former Labor Prime Minister Julia Gillard. Um, but a lot of strategic commentators believe that Australia has to tell the United States that its preeminence in Asia is on the decline. This is not the sort of message that an Abbott government will be wanting to take to Washington. Abbott's already on the public record as saying he fears what a shrunken America might mean. I suspect that Abbott here will probably follow more in the footsteps of his uh, conservative predecessor John Howard, who maintained that Australia did not need to choose between its history and its geography, that it could benefit from both. I think Tony Abbott obviously will face a different set of perhaps external circumstances which may make this deft and del delicate diplomacy that much harder, uh, but the likelihood of US predominance and power in Asia continuing for the next few decades means that it's unlikely that he will have to make that choice that some are quite pointedly calling for. I think the, um, the terminology of Indo-Pacific is one that's uh, having an increasing currency in the Australian strategic and foreign policy lexicon. Of course, this joins up the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Oceans, it's the maritime environment that encompasses Australia's major trading partners and it also brings India crucially into the mix for Australian foreign policy. In recent years there's been much more of an effort to prioritise the India relationship. That uh, began under John Howard, it's likely to con it continued under the Labor government, it's likely to continue under an Abbott government. India and China will be among the most important, if not the most important, strategic players in the region for Australia. The Abbott government is likely to continue to focus on those two players, along with, of course, the other democracies. So I think the Indo-Pacific is, is enlarging uh, Australia's strategic mental map, if you like, but that is reflecting the continuing economic growth in that region, which is so vital to Australia's ongoing prosperity. And it's also reflecting the priority that Australia has to give to that region and the maritime environment to ensure an ongoing strategic stability in that part of the world.